Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Android TV. In today's video, it's going to be a current favorites video. I'm not really one for doing monthly favorites, but I think that doing current favorites would be a really cool idea. And just sharing some products that I've recently been loving that maybe you guys don't know about. Today's current favorites is going to be a health and fitness edition. I'm going to be showing you three products that I've just recently kind of discovered and been really liking a lot. I'm going to be talking about Lara Bars, Siggy's Dairy, and Under Armour. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Before I begin, I just want to stress that none of the companies or brands that are featured in this video have asked me to feature them in this video. It's not sponsored. These are just some products that I've recently discovered that I've really been liking that I wanted to let everybody know about. The first thing I'm going to talk about are Lara Bars or Lara Bars. I'm not really sure how to say them. I think they've been around for quite a while, but I only just started getting into them. The thing that I like about Lara Bars, we're just gonna call them Lara Bars. The thing that I like about them is that they're made with whole food ingredients. They don't have any artificial sugar or added sugar. All of the sugar comes naturally from dates, which is what gives them their sweetness so they don't add any extra sugar into them and they're made with just whole food ingredients all stuff you can actually pronounce there's no preservatives no artificial coloring most of them are gluten-free dairy-free soy-free vegan and kosher I happen to have a couple left here I have apple pie and chocolate chip cookie dough so like for example in the apple pie one it has 190 calories 10 grams of fat 5 grams of fiber 4 grams of protein and 18 grams of sugar the only ingredients are dates, almonds, unsweetened apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. In addition to being gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan, and kosher, they are also non-GMO verified, so they don't use any genetically modified ingredients. One thing about them is that they are actually quite high in calories, in my opinion. Like, for what they are, they do seem to have quite a bit of calories, but at the same time, they're made with real ingredients. They're all whole food ingredients and there like i said there's no added sugar or anything so i think you can feel pretty good about eating them and they do have a lot of flavors like the chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter and stuff like that so if you're craving something sweet without going overboard i think these are a really great kind of snack idea they're a great like post-workout kind of snack or something to take with you on the go they're a great source of protein my local grocery store my price chopper has them they're usually a dollar fifty but sometimes they have them on sale for a dollar so when they're that cheap i tend to stock up on them you can get them at most grocery stores and supermarkets and stuff like that and you can also find out more information about their other products and all the different flavors they have on their website larabar.com i will be linking all the websites to everything I mention in the description below if you want to go and have a look. The next thing I'd like to talk about is Siggy's Dairy and this is something that I just discovered recently. I think they've been around for a while but I only kind of just noticed them in my grocery store and I was I just figured I would give it a try because it looked really interesting so I have one of their yogurts and the brand is originated from Iceland so everything is kind of Icelandic so their yogurt is called Skyr or skier. I'm not really sure how to say it. And then they also have drinkable yogurt. It says Swedish style film yolk. What I like about Siggy's Dairy is that because it originates from Iceland, the guy who invented it, basically when he came to America, he felt that all of the yogurts in America were too artificial. They were too sweet. They had too much sugar. So if you're looking for yogurt that has less sugar, I would definitely recommend giving Siggy's Dairy a try. So one of the flavors of yogurt that I happen to have here, or the Sky or whatever, is raspberry. And this is actually, I think, my favorite of the flavors I've tried is the raspberry one. So it's 0% milk fat, strained non-fat yogurt, 11 grams of sugar, 16 grams of protein, and 120 calories. It's all natural, milk from grass-fed cows, no aspartame, no sucralose, no gelatin, no artificial colorings, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, and they don't get the milk from cows that have been fed with like hormones and everything like that. And it's also certified gluten-free. If you're wondering, they're currently not certified organic, but I think they're trying to kind of get in the process of becoming certified organic. Again, they have a really simple list of ingredients. The ingredients on this raspberry one are pasteurized skim milk, raspberries, cane sugar, fruit pectin, and live active cultures. And it also lists all the live active cultures. I don't can't pronounce any of them, don't know what they mean. I was interested to see actually how much sugar does this have in comparison to things like Yoplait yogurt and 
Activia and those kinds of brands and Chobani and stuff. So this is about comparable as far as sugar and stuff like that goes. This is about comparable to the Yoplait Light in terms of how much sugar it has, but if you bought just like the regular Yoplait or Activia or Chobani, those definitely have way more sugar than this does. It's definitely not as sweet as the ones that we're used to, but I think once you kind of get used to the fact that it doesn't have as much sugar, it's actually really good. In terms of the texture, it is quite thick. It's not quite as thick as Greek yogurt, but it does have a similar kind of thickness and texture and like a creaminess to it that Greek yogurt has, but I don't find it to be as thick as Greek yogurt. And then kind of like a cool added bonus with it is that the way that they designed their packaging is that you can peel the label off separately to recycle that separately from the cup. So they're obviously trying to be, you know, environmentally friendly as well, which is always great. So that's the Skyr yogurt and then the drinkable yogurt or film milk as it's called. This is whole milk. This is the strawberry flavor. This is the only one I've tried and I really like the strawberry flavor. It has 18 grams of sugar, 8 grams of protein, and 180 calories. It does have a little bit more because it's made with whole milk instead of the other one that has no fat. All natural milk from grass-fed cows, no aspartame, no sucralose, no gelatin, no artificial colorings, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, certified gluten-free milk produced without the use of hormones. The only ingredients listed are whole milk, strawberries, cane sugar, fruit pectin, and live active cultures. Where you can buy them, they have them at Price Chopper, probably a lot of other grocery stores and supermarkets as well. You can also go to their website to find more of their products, their different flavors that they offer, and find out more about their process for making the yogurt at their website, siggiesdairy.com. And then the last thing that I wanna talk about is this Under Armour water bottle that I just got. I got this at Kohl's. I take this to work and stuff like that. Um, I use it for you know working out and stuff like that. So this is from the brand Under Armour. It's a 24 ounce plastic water bottle. It's not squeezable, so it is like a hard plastic. I just really like it because it has these grips on the side so that it makes it easy to hold on to, especially if you were sweating, like if your hands were sweaty, it would make it easier to hold on to it. It also has a flip top instead of having to twist the top or pop the top off. So it has this extra little piece of wire here to kind of keep it from popping open by accident, which is great to prevent leaks and stuff, especially if you need to just throw it in a gym bag or a backpack or something like that. It prevents anything from leaking out. So you just take that off and then you press this button here and it just pops right open and then you drink and then you just close it and pop this back up. And it also has a little hook on the end, which makes it easy for transporting and carrying around. I just really liked the look of the bottle. It came in a few different colors. They had this blue color. They also had like a charcoal black on their website and stuff. You can find more color options, but I just really liked the whole kind of look of the bottle. It's very sleek. It's very athletic looking. I really like the blue color and this retails for $18 at Kohl's. You can find this water bottle basically wherever Under Armour products are sold at Dick's Sporting Goods, Walmart, Amazon. It does not contain contain a straw because I know some people find when water bottles have a straw in them they're like it's kind of annoying when you're trying to drink out of it. It's also dishwasher safe as well which makes cleaning it super easy. Those are my current health and fitness favorites. All the links and everything where you can find everything will be in the description box below. I hope that maybe I've introduced you to some new products that maybe you didn't know about before and that you want to give them a try. Please let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any of these products or you'd like to give them a try and I hope to see you in my next video. No, that's not the right intro actually. <sighs> Today's current favorites is going to... So up first, let's actually get them. The main ingredient, I'm going to be talking about layer bars. Uh, what did I want to say about this? Before, I, I, I the next, no, I always like get a brain for when I'm trying to do this. Um, wow, wow, I'm just like totally brain farting right now. Whoa. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> so that was bleh. So that was bleh. So those were bleh. So those are my current favorites, health and fitness. No. So those are my current favorite health and fitness. No. Please give me a like and subscribe. I hope that. Uh,